I made a video earlier on um, twin transfusion syndrome, okay, uh, where one twin is basically enjoying a lot of the blood supply from the mom, while the other twin is actually suffering, okay. So, uh, vanishing twin is basically like, uh, likely the same concept, okay. Basically, one twin is um, being dominant over the other twin, okay. So, the other twin... Um, it's actual fine, okay? It's vanishing away, okay? Because it's not receiving adequate blood supply. It's not receiving adequate nutrients. The waste products are not being excreted from it adequately, okay? So vanishing twin syndrome, okay? And also be talking about fetus papyrasus, okay? Which is basically um, the vanishing twin that will become so small and be wrapped up, okay? Into a papyrus, okay? That's what they call the fetus papyrasus. Moving forward, guys, a vanishing twin. Um, you could see this. This is the alpha survivor, which is developing rapidly like a normal fetus. Okay, and um, and um, you could see, you could see here. There's a fetus here that is actually disappearing away. Okay, so why does it happen? All right, so vanishing twin syndrome is basically. Um, early death and resorption, okay, basically disappearance of one member of a twin, all right, and um, this is fairly common, okay, now only about 29% of twin pregnancies actually result in giving birth to the twins, right, so this will tell us that most of us, we actually had a twin, okay, but this twin actually disappeared away, to tell you that only 29% of twin pregnancies actually result in giving birth to those twins, I'll tell you that, Several of us actually had twin brothers and sisters, right? But we killed them. Okay? But not our fault, though. All right. So now, there is one twin that is taking dominance, having the most of the blood supply, the nutrients, and everything. All right? And there's a twin that is suffering and is dying. That's called the vanishing twin. All right? So now, occasionally, that twin that is suffering and dying and vanishing away, Okay, becomes dead. Okay, so the dead fetus is compressed and mummified. Okay, and it is termed the fetus papyrasus. Okay, so this is it. Um, this is a viable twin. You can see it's so big. Uh, it's growing, it's enjoying life. Where you see the vanishing twin is basically disappearing away, vanishing away, is getting wrapped up, is getting mummified. Okay, into what is called the fetus papyrasus, so that it doesn't get rotting in the womb of the mother. All right, so that's why most people they have vanishing twins, but uh, basically uh, it might end up coming out, or it might end up just the body might just absorb it. Okay, so because the, the twin that is vanishing is getting wrapped up, is getting mummified, okay, into a fetus papyrasus. It is not getting rotting in the womb of the mother, so the mother might not even notice it. Do you understand? That's why they said most people giving birth singly were actually twins, okay? So you should note that um, errors in prenatal diagnosis of the normal member may arise, if the extra embryonic tissues of the resorbed twin are examined, okay? You guys should calm down. Let me explain this, okay? I see that there are two separate amniotic sac here. There's an amniotic sac of uh, the viable twin, the one that is growing without no problems, is enjoying life. And there's the amniotic sac of the vanishing twin, okay? So the amniotic sac of the vanishing twin is definitely uh, containing some um some fluids that are not well because the twin is dying okay so instead of if if you go on to actually examine the tissues of this twin you might end up saying the mother has a dead baby all right so it's good to always have a ct scan to see if there is a vanishing twin and there's a normal twin all right so that's basically the concept of vanishing twin and i'll um, see you guys in the next one bye for now